Hey guys, um, I know a couple of you on BBC chat asked me, you know, the uh, setup for the TTM squeeze indicator and, uh, you know, how it, how do I use it and, um, you know, how can one incorporate that into your trading strategy. Uh, so instead of sort of talking through it, I thought I'll just create a short video so give you an idea um, what this indicator does and then, you know, you can see for yourself if this is something that you can fit in your, your trading style. Um, I will show you my setup and how I end up using it. So uh, to start, basically I have a blank chart, right? And the indicator, and this is really relevant to TOS. I'm sure this indicator exists in multiple other platforms as well, but you would need to figure out what exactly it's called. So on this one is called TTM Squeeze. So you take TTM Squeeze and then you just uh, add into your chart. I'm also going to add a couple of other um, indicators. One of them is the Bollinger Bands. Uh, so we're going to add that and then we're going to add the Keltner channels. Uh, adding those. All right, so I'm just going to make a few adjustments. I don't care about the midline for now and I'll just have them at the same color. We'll have this cyan upper band also in cyan and we will make a similar change to the Keltner uh, band as well. So don't care about the mid mid band for illustration purposes. Just get this pink color and we're going to apply this right. So what you see here is uh, the TTM squeeze indicator. This indicator is written by a gentleman named John Carter, and uh, so it's essentially a, a histogram. Now, as I said, the cyan is the Bollinger band. The, in, the pink one is the Keltner channel. Um, under normal circumstances, as you see, the Bollinger bands trade outside of the Keltner channel, right? And uh, these lines typically are all sort of green on, on the horizontal scale. Now, let's look for um, you know a couple of stocks that are in the uh, that are currently in the squeeze mode. So Lulu is one. So one of the things you will see at this point in time, the Bollinger Band is now trading inside of Keltner channel. And when this particular phenomena happens, you know, you can see the horizontal lines have turned red. The stock has actually gone into a low volatility period or a range contraction has occurred, right? When this happens, um, you know, stock now going to move significantly. Again, how long this squeeze lasts is unknown. Now we can take a look at the example um, on Lululemon starting from 116 all the way to 326, right? You can see the cyanin, which is the Bollinger Bands is trading inside the Keltner channel. And during this period, if you ended up buying options and you said, hey, um, let me get options that are expiring two, two and a half months out. In essence, the stock really did not sort of go down in value, but uh, the time decay would completely erode the value of your options, right? So in, in, in case I was interested in getting options, I would completely avoid the time frame when you are in a squeeze mode, right? So while this was in the squeeze mode for like a couple months, the stock traded in a sideways direction, right? And if you had options, you would completely lose all of its value. If you are in common stock, of course, you can sit on it and you don't need to worry about that. Now. Once the squeeze mode, squeeze mode fires, and in this case it happened because of the results, but it could be any other circumstance that could cause it, the stock had a significant jump and it moved roughly 40 to 45 dollars, right? Now after that big jump, even though the market is now, you know, generally trending downwards, you can see that Lululemon is actually in, um, again, in a low volatility time frame, range contraction is occurring, and so this is how you can actually, you know, incorporate this into your trading strategy. In my case, now at this point in time, I would have zero interest in trading this stock till it breaks one way or the other. The other thing you can do is you can go into a much shorter time frame. So let's just go into a, a, a shorter time frame and uh, we'll look at uh, Lululemon on a two minute time frame here. So let's say uh, on um, Friday, if I decided, you know, I want to actually trade Lululemon for whatever reason, right? The first thing I see is that, you know, this particular stock is in a squeeze mode on multiple time frames, the 10 minute, the 15 minute, the 30 minute, the hour, and the day. In other words, 
you know, there is no way you are exp the expectation is this is going to get out of that vein. Uh, and it would just sort of chop around and would make, at least in my opinion or, you know, my trading style, I would not trade this stock from a, you know, from a short term perspective. Now, this other indicator, the X5 all the way to XM essentially is looking at uh, the exponential nine day moving average over the 21 day moving average over multiple time frames. So this is five minute, 10 minute, all the way up to uh, one month time frame, right? So in this case, even though, you know, the 15 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute are looking good, um, I would not be inclined to uh, take this trade. So let's just look into uh, another example, which is Google here. Uh, quick look, and this is um, if I'm scalping and I'm looking at Google on a five minute time frame, right? So one of the things you'll see right around eight, th this would be uh, Monday. So we're looking at, uh, yes, Monday. So on Monday, if you wanted to trade this stock from about 8.30, to about 10.35, this was actually in a low volatility period. Right? There was this range contraction, the stock really wasn't moving anywhere, and I actually would not enter a long trade, right? However, at around 10.40, as you can see, the squeeze mode fired, right? We actually, this red, red dot turned into this green dot, and this stadium squeeze indicator started to move up, right? And one of the things you can see is a buy signal um, that happened on Google. Now, what I have done, at least for my my trading style, I've actually incorporated that into a piece of code so that, you know, I don't have to think through this, right? So, I'll just show you briefly, you know, what, what I look at. So, this is sort of the code that, uh, you know, I put together, which allows me to look at multiple indicators and gives me an automated buy-sell signal here. So, one of the things here, as you can see, is that, I look at this TTM squeeze histogram, right? This, if it is negative, I'm not going to go long. So this has to be greater than zero. And at the same time, I'm looking at this TTM squeeze alert is true. In other words, the squeeze mode has fired on this uh, particular stock, right? So once that happens, uh, as you can see, under when it was all red here, I did not get a buy signal. But once it turned uh, green and a couple of other indicators aligned for me, it gave me a buy signal here, right? So this was my sort of entry uh, for a long trade here, right? And so this is the trade I actually uh, took and uh, we discussed this in the, the chat as well, right? And worked out well. And a little bit later here, as you can see, all the indicators sort of aligned for me in, in the downward direction, you could have taken a shot. I did not enter a shot, full disclosure. I did not take this trade. But uh, again, in this case, there's no squeeze, as you can see from the TTM squeeze indicator. This all is green, right? Hopefully, this gives you a little bit of semblance of how to actually use this indicator and how to actually set it up on TOS. If you have any questions, just let me know on BBC, uh, BBC chat and I'll do my best to help you guys out.